Hey guys, uh, my name is Arjun. Uh, today we are going to talk about Wayfall chart. A uh, Wayfall chart uh, shows uh, progress towards your goal and as well as a part to hold relationship. So let's look at our final visualizations. Uh, so this here you can see uh, the regional level sales to the go I mean to the global sales. That means Europe sales is contributing how much to the global sales that is 27.3 percent that you can see the dark shaded cells right so light cells are i mean a to achieve this this only the 27.3 persons with dark shaded is achieved okay let's uh start from the beginning how to do that so for this we have used uh three uh two data sets that is a vg sales and where you can see the customer uh, name and the sales of north america sales europe sales japan sales and other sales other region sales and that is a and as well as the global sales that is a sum of all this region sales that you can see 82.74 right so, uh, and the similar way you need one more data that is i have created the percentage table that you can create uh, yourself that uh, so here we are given uh, two things like rows three things rows columns and percentage so rows are nothing but let's say if you are coming to the excel so row one and uh, column one so that is nothing but if you come this is row one and column one a uh, the cell a1 refers right and the similar way row one and column two nothing but a b1 cell b1 similar way c1 is nothing but row one and column three the same way uh, here it is you can see row one column one and uh, just for a matrix it's creating the matrices so for each cell that i given like one person two person three person and till it moves till row number one uh, column number 10 and uh, row number 10 and that is 100 percent okay just try to do it uh, so here you can see i repeated one for 10 times and the columns repeated one to ten again for rows from uh, two and repeated two ten times again from one to ten so that you can create until the end okay let's do one thing let's uh we'll make a new workbook we'll create okay uh, it's loading it's opening Let's make it maximize this. Okay. Let's close this. Okay. So now we are going to connect to data. Connect to data. Uh, one is text file that is actually the VG sales is in text file. So that's why I'm taking text sales. So VG sales. Okay. Open this. Okay, one data is important. Now we need to import the second one that is new data source that is in Excel file. So I'm taking Excel and uh, percentage table. Okay, so if you go to sheet one, we can see the two things here. So no need to do a blending here because there is no common uh, fields. So what we'll do, we'll take rows into rows and uh, columns into columns okay now we get a one point which is the aggregation so we need to do uh, disaggregate this so analysis is aggregated so now we can see one row one column one column two row one so like that row column 10 if you go here it is row 10 in column 10 uh, we'll make this in a square okay so increase the size I think this looks good. Okay, fine. So now we'll the remove the axis. Show headers here also. Show headers, and there is grid lines in the background. So let's go to format and lines. Grid lines none. Okay, fine. So now what we need to we need to we'll go to VG sales. So what we want is 
the sales of Europe sales to the global sales, right? Contribution we want to see. So I'll create a calculated field. Create a calculated field. Region sales share. Region sales share. Europe sales, right? Europe sales that we need to to get a percentage. We need to write a sum actually, sum formula. So sum of Europe sales divided by sum of global sales. Okay, find the calculation value. Fine. So, but you are getting uh, only one region, but we are going to use it uh, using giving a parameter. So, how to uh, you know dynamically change the region names that is europe or japan or north america and other sales and in a one chart only we are going to showcase show how each regions uh, and we are giving a control using the parameters so first we'll uh, let's create a parameter one create a parameters okay name it as region selection uh, we'll take an integer string, okay? A string list. Okay, first is u sales, okay? Next is JP sales. Next is in North America sales. Next is other sales, other region sales. Okay, four regions. So we need to uh, control this parameter. We need to create a calculated field. Okay. So let's create a calculated field. We'll name it as region selector. So I'll write a formula like case, case, uh, region selection when u sales then EU sales when case when JP sales then JP sales when NA sales then we should get North America NA sales yeah when other region sales other sales then we should get other sales okay and calculation valid fine so now we have created the dynamic for parameter selection right we calculate calculated field let's put this calculated field go to a region sales here okay we'll put instead of here we'll put region selector so that when we change the parameters we'll get the the particular regions the respective regions okay fine so now done with this now we are going to the this sheet one and we'll create a one uh, calculated field or to name it as color so percentage right so what i am going to take here is uh, we have calculated the share now what is region sales share region sales share is greater than or equal to percentage okay we are getting an error what is that cannot mix aggregate and non aggregated argument with this function so let's do a sum of this okay fine so calculation valid fine. so we got a true false color right so let's drag it to the colors and let's see what happens okay yes and i'll take the parameter as well right side so you eu sales you are getting the this dark shaded in, indicates a true and if i move to say okay and a sales right okay so let's change the color of this color i'll give for false so light colors okay for true 
we'll take a kind of dark colors okay fine perfect fine so but we need uh, labels okay so we need to uh put we'll put the labels as well so that is region sales share to the labels no we cannot take a labels here okay so what we'll do i'll do it to the details and uh, now if you click on annotate mark okay now we want this part okay we'll increase the size as well to 26 and we'll change the color to brown one fine perfect okay yes so we are getting 0.4 it's in decimal let's convert it to percentage format in percentage we'll keep one decimal okay 49.2 percent and we'll try to format this format background is none and we don't want the line as well none okay so 49.2 for north america similar way if i change to eu sales no it's again we need to add it here again so i'll go to annotate okay uh, we are given already 26 26 and then 26 and then make it to dark and gold okay. and then now we need to format this format shading none and the lines none okay fine so you sales is coming other sales was there right other sales no na sales so similar way you can do it for other two regions okay and also we can do at the time i will give write a title like there's a parameter no north uh, right now we have north sales there's a parameter north sales sales to sales share to the global sales then we should get reflect of this value okay fine now we'll making it bold and 226 bold center aligned uh, this again this part okay na sales share to the global sales reduce the size of this convert this to 22 fine so na sales north america sales share to the global sales that is 49.2 if i change to eu i'm getting 27.3 percent so and the same way uh, this is the one way of doing like if you are using the parameter suppose if you want to do it other four for for separate all the four regions you can do it in a separate sheet and there we can you need to calculate the region sales share like four times uh, like what we did in the beginning that you uh, eu sales divided by global sales similar way to you have to do for jp sales divided by global sales and then you have to do a four sheets and where you can uh, you can put it in a dashboard and for each separate sheets you can change uh, the same you can change the shape as well so if you go to shapes and circle is coming if you click on shapes and uh, okay triangle this way you can choose or plus anything if you want you can choose okay let's keep it in the square now uh okay let's remove the tool tips it's not required I'll check the shoe tips okay fine. so yes that's it i hope this video is useful to you uh, thank you thank you everyone